man in the highest in all creation. It's spoken of very highly by all scriptures. All say that the Father is the highest because we can do the work which cannot be done in any other body. That is, we can know ourselves and know God. And this is the Master's path yes. on the path to higher consciousness. Yes. Our program is called On the Path to Higher Consciousness. It's a series produced by the Siddhartha Foundation for the Study of Higher Consciousness in Waltham, Massachusetts. On these programs, we explore the dimensions of man and his spirit in the new age. My name is J. Richard Turner, and our guest today is Sant Kirpal Singh. Kirpal Singh, what is the Master's Path? on the path to higher consciousness. <coughs> Master's path on the higher on the higher consciousness is to first to know about his own self as conscious being. Soul is the top of the ocean of all consciousness, unless one knows himself, as all masters in the past told us, man know thyself, who we are, what we are. We are conscious entities, having man body, the highest in all creation. In this it is possible to know oneself. Unless one man knows himself, he can know the higher consciousness. So this is a practical subject for which demonstration is given first to know oneself. How to know oneself? It is one matter of not at the level of feelings or emotions are drawing inferences. It is purely a subject of self-analysis, knowing oneself and knowing God. Higher consciousness can only be experienced or risen into, I would say, if our own consciousness is first all divided of all outer coverings. So it is a matter of your self-analysis, how to rise above body consciousness, this is a demonstration of which is given by all masters who came in the past. Even now they are giving. So when man rises above body consciousness practically, he knows some power is controlling us in the body. So man body is the true temple of God in which we reside as well as that higher power that controls us in the body also resides. There are so many approaches in the man body, eyes, Ears, nose, mouth, and two underneath, but we cannot run away out of it. Some power is controlling us in the body. That consciousness comes only first when we know ourselves by rising above body consciousness. The higher consciousness is had when we transcend into the beyond. To transcend into the beyond, that is and when our attention is withdrawn from all outside and from the body below, and rise up to the feet of the soul, to, uh, of the soul in the body, which is at the back of the two eyebrows. When he is there, just as it, St. Plutarch says, a man who is initiated into the mystery of the beyond, the soul has the same experience of leaving the body as it has at the time of death. It is not matter only. I mean, visualization or feelings or drawing inferences is a matter of pure self-analysis, rising above body consciousness, and to know oneself that he is the man who is driving, who is living the whole man body below, and who also enables us to know the world outside. So this is the first step that the master given always to be start. Now when we know ourselves, you see, that power controlling us is all consciousness. It is a drop in the ocean of all consciousness. But their macrocosm is in the microcosm. So we have got bodies in different planes to work in those, enable us to work in those planes. Physical body, we have got physical, we have got conscious. We rise into, then we have got the astral body to work in the astral plane. Again, we have to rise further. We have got the cause, causal body to work in the causal plane. And transcend all these three, rise into the 
spiritual planes, which is the whole consciousness. Up to three planes, it is not all consciousness, it is a mixed up with matters of different grades. So two consciousness rises when man rises above physical body, astral body, and causal body. But he is there, he sees, because it is just like a drop of water, it is just mixed with another further water. That is matter to be experienced, cannot be expressed in words. When consciousness can experience up to first, second, third plane, beyond it is only going into or entering into a higher consciousness to lose outer identity. That higher consciousness can be expressed in words. Even only feelings in the only way we can express in words. How can that consciousness, which is all consciousness, can be expressed in words? This is only a intellectual wrestling, I would say, because come to some conclusion, what is that, what is not that. So, Marshall say, well, we are, we are, of course, after higher consciousness, but higher consciousness we have in the, what to say, in the mind ramification, the mind was physical, yeah, astrally, and causally also. That three states of mind, physical, astral, and causal. Unless it rises above all these minds, we cannot have true consciousness, but that consciousness cannot be experienced in words, can be experienced. Even to rise above body consciousness, this is the thing to be experienced. This experience can be given by a demonstration by some master power who is competent to rise above body consciousness day to day at his will and pleasure and can give demonstration of that to others who come to him for that purpose. So first step is on the way to higher consciousness is to know oneself, to his own conscious self, because it is we who are living the whole body here, physical body, also in the work of the astral cause when these, all these coverings are taken off, he rises into all consciousness, nothing to be expressed in words. People try to give some account of the matter inferences, but when it's all rises into oneness, to whom you to speak? The very say that I see all consciousness, it means he has not seen it, because he explains it at the level of one himself. If he sees the water mixed into the river, then how can he see this is river, river of the oneself? So all consciousness cannot be explained what. This only drawing inferences. Our intellectual wrestling, we can give something, this is that, this is that. But that state is not, cannot be explained in words, only experience. Even ourselves, when we rise our physical body, that cannot be explained in words here. It is just to be born in you. You must be reborn. Or this ABC starts from when we learn to die, then it's in ourselves, we, that's the first step towards our consciousness. But there are further steps in the astral plane to causal plane to and transfer all these three, when we rise into the spiritual plane, so we can express where thou by reference are given. But all scriptures they say so. Kirpal Singh how does one become acquainted with his master? Outer thing is born the same as all other men are born, in the same presence from God. Outer inner construction the same. The only thing is when a man gets a degree, a PhD, how can you recognize him? You recognize only when you sit by him, you see day to day, when he is above all. So only criterion that we can have as given by all masters is he should be able to raise you above body consciousness, physical at least, by giving a demonstration. If you can give that God is light, when you rise above body, uh, above body consciousness, your single eye is open. When single eye is open, you see, you see it is all dark, it's all like you see, it's all light. So this is who can give you something on the start of, say, some capital to start with. This is the only criteria we can have. And moreover, by coming in his presence, you see your mind is still for a while. Oh. This is what I have come to uh, by parallel study of religions and personal experience. But about others, you see, 
each one has his own scope. They say so, they will be the highest, but the only thing when you take this subject as a matter of intellectual wrestling, how can that be? Because until the mind is controlled, how do we? That is called a mind and intellect also ceases for a while, only then this, our own consciousness comes up. What to speak of that consciousness? So others on the way, this is how I take it. We do develop whatever they Some have recourse to psychology, relax. Others only give you by some, what you say, by treatment like that and for a while little light, but there is no light. Light is only without touching hand. You should raise your upper body consciousness, remove the darkness from before your eyes. And Master said, don't believe the words of a Master, unless you see for your own self what is what happened. You bear testimony to it. But this is the criterion now, the Master. There's no outer bad, but by his presence you'll find radiation. And what is, that's the first thing, the outer thing is, he will be able to give you a demonstration that you how to rise above body concept. Open the single eye, see, for yourself there's light. What was your experience, your feeling, many, many decades ago when you met your master? Yes. Did you, <coughs> did you experience something very special, and does that still, do you still feel that feeling? I was in such... Man, we in church, you do everything, we all read all scriptures. We have a very sweet to, stories of the beyond. I did find, but how to have it, that was not possible. So it was a matter of pure self analysis. So I pray in God, oh God, if there's anybody, after God works through somebody, demand and supply is in love, nature. Or if there's anybody, somebody, you must manifest. How can you see with a blind man? How can you recognize the man in life? So God will form, appear to me in my meditations. I took him as Guru Nanak. So he, I was just I was seeing with him in the beyond too, in the days of Mr. Tegan War. Then after all, about seven years after, I physically met him. When he found me, he was the same. I told him why, why it was all delayed, why it was an opportune time. So when he met me, you see, he gave me demonstration. All labors, all efforts were done away with. Now the ABC starts from there. With the word philosophy, then they will start. You know, there's a prayer. Oh God, I am grateful to you for you have kept this secret from the world device and given to the base. <laughs> <laughs> your, your work in India yes. is very much based on the work of your master, isn't it? The, hmm? the center. The center which you have built yes. in India is built on the principles which your master taught to you. No, I tell you, whatever my master told me, that is the basic teachings of all masters who came this path. That's a parent study of all scriptures. And given the book in which I have given quotations from all scriptures, East and West, the basic teaching has been the same all through, in a way, has not been too. Of course, when time later, for want of practical people, they had to regard to certain scopes separately. There are so many yoga, but this yoga has its own scope. This is natural yoga, which gives you a contact with the God into space and power direct by raising your body consciousness and you see it is that. So the sun, you see the ray of the sun. You can go on on the ray, you reach the sun. So God, when he wanted, I want and wish to be managed. It came into expression, there was vibration. And vibration is also in two things, light and sound. So light and sound, this, the yoga of the attention, when it is contacted, when you rise up above body consciousness. That is the power which is keeping us in the body and controlling all creation. So we come to know that when rise of above body consciousness, or even atheists have said, there are atheists when matter of God nowhere in his room. And he was at death when a child came up. He was going to read, God is, I know, G-O-D-O-D, God, I know, W, now, what, you are here. God is now here. He asked my child, I see some power control. So this can be realized when you, at the time of death, rise above body consciousness, or even now, you become some power controlling us. 
This is the physical cover which is, that is taken out, that is the astral cover, the kadal cover, and the super kadal. Beyond that, there is the true, I mean, homa al the all masters have referred to it, and even beyond, ineffable and just going into the God absolute. All others have referred to it. says, all saints who rise above the, the highest super kadal line, and further in affable and sweet into the God which is absolute absorbed in them. He says, Bhur Nanak resides there. All other saints are alike. So these are, they say about those who have gone to the highest. Others on their step. Some are risen up to the physical. They give only some mesmerism, some hypnotism, some psychologist, you psychology, and by trick of the pen, new fingers, they give something, that's all we do, different to all. Some have access into the first astral plane. They can give you right to that. Second plane, he access, access man, the master will give you up to that stage. Up to third, you like that. Only you meet the highest master, the ultimate goal of the absolute, reaching into, absorbing to the Vidan, so their stage is goal. All must by parallel study you will find they have their stages. Shankara and others, you see, they define his all conscience. Then they turn up to again that God in the expression power is what is wanted. And that is manifest in man. Shankara, no, he believed in the absolute God is all God. There is no soul. Then he came to a little allowance he made. Yes, there is soul also. And the next man who followed him, he absolutely descended. Well, God absolutely cannot be this. We are not that. So they are covering up, you see, they are covering on the body. They're, this is one covering like of the prana and ananda, kosh is also a covering. You see? Jnana kosh is a covering too. But Jnana kosh is a covering, not the absolute. To rise into absolute, well, nobody, only reference and finish. Even the all conscious cannot use this in world. To the best I know, I have come to know. I have by parallel study of religion too. So all conscious we can only infer by intellectual wrestling, that's all. And the masters of the higher order say, what? How, oh, oh man, the seekers after God, you have just forgotten the God by intellectual wrestling. So as a matter of inference you draw, See and then say that is something else. Christ, another said, we see and we say and we have testimony to it. This all other master said. Guru Nanak said, I speak as I am inspired by God. Sometimes people speak from the subconscious level. The subconscious level, what it is? It is experience of all past words. From that level they can talk. But if he has risen to the all conscious level, those words can only be Nothing can be said. People simply say, just say water is poured into another vessel, it becomes water. So this is a matter, to me it is inexpressible, and what I have seen by prior study of religion, to go into the actual God who can know, nobody. Nobody is in God and India. God into spiritual in power, of course we had experience of that. That also according to the covers you have shaken out. By shaking your physical body, you rise from consciousness. And it's like then the actual body is shaken on the still. So, causal body to shake as very difficult. So, it's a mental plane, my man. A little thought will bring a new world. That is the only masters alone. They absorb his whole attention in the loud light and sound to sing, take a further one. So, it's very difficult inside. But anyhow, we do different to all whatever they come to, people are de deriving benefits, that's all right. Because you ask about your own consciousness, so I give you something what I have come to. What part does the initiation play in this reaching of a new consciousness? The first part is to rise over no oneself. One is conscious entity. It's got a covering, you see three coverings of course, physical life and color. But when the lamp is burning, there are three, four coverings, you shake off one, you see some light. 
When all covenants said no light, then you shake out the other, there's more light. Then you shake out the there's still more light. So all religions, you see, teach like that. Religion means the word not social body, I mean, to say religion is back, religion to bind. You know? Those who have gone up like that, they see God is light. Also God is light. And Lord Krishna also. Everybody, by palace study of religion at home, they are all the basic teachings had been the same of all. So long as the people, they were there, the people derived full benefit of that. When they left the scene, they had to keep their teachings alive. All these social bodies of schools are came to be. So long as practical people were there of different degrees, and it's referred to Shankar and the second man after it, so they didn't know. So master do come from time to time to revive all this and bear testimony also. But all at once who can you know, the man who flies in the other, only the other man who will fly there will know what he is. <laughs> On the path to higher consciousness, yeah. what part does the initiation ceremony play? Demonstration. No, no ceremony, no offering, no flower, only like a school. Given a sitting, with little attention, give a boost, they will drop from outside and see light. They will attack in this way. No ceremony, no gift, nothing with It is a gift of nature, you see. All gifts of nature are free. Air, water, sun. The sun who gives our nature, why should we pay for it? <laughs> Much of your work in India yeah. is in your center, which you built there. No, no, all through India. All through India, in Pakistan too. All through India, I've got about 30 centers there, 40 centers. Here, also outside, about 120 or more than that centers in the actually. What is the main work that you do at those centers? Main work we usually give them some bread of life to the soul. Physically people give it, intellectually give it. I'm not against it, that's the first step. But what food is going to the soul? The soul is conscious entity. And the bread of life and the water of life can only be conscious. And the higher conscience is already controlling us in the body. When it rise above, to give you contact with that is the initiation. To withdraw all attention from outside, raise up the body conscious and, and come to the seat of the soul in the body, which is at the back and then transcend it to the beyond. It's just sun rising this way and setting this way and rising this way. Those who daily practice they do, they rise. For them, the death is a matter of joy. Yeah. So God sends all things. He chooses that where he manifests. He carries on his mission of God. The more or you find one thing. <coughs> all those came here, most of them, these people began to, God sent them to know the people there is God, who is the maker of all creation. He should be worshipped. But many you will find all worship those messengers who came here. So messengers say carefully, I am not God, we are the messengers of God. God has sent me, Father has sent me. You see, I can you. He is your God. But only you say we respect all other incarnations who came, we never take the name of God. Can you envision for us the future for mankind, the spiritual life of man? Yes. We are, that's the awakening coming up. You see? Coming by Eastern is both. Men are fed up with the outer ways of, you see, ritualism and other things. They are very unhappy. Awakening is rising about, you see, in the East and West too. And golden age will come from iron age, not far from heaven or it. <laughs> now people are new. See, all what they have done, unless they get something so strange. We say God is light. Everybody says. But I have seen right. Then whatever say God is, I mean, written all creation. Have you seen? 
If not, then what is compared to? Like a blind man in the body line. And that you see, of course, whatever you perform in the way of knowing God, they are good actions. They are showed good results. But all the things, the doership is there. Unless the doership is there, then as you show, so shall you reap. Unless you become conscious co-worker of the divine plan, then say, he is the doer, I am not the doer. You lose all you go, then who, who will reap it? The city of Sons. They have to be in gold of the market. They say, she and then say. And they make other she. What did Kai say? I have come to let those people see who do not see. These are the references given in the scripture. For want of practical people, we are not able to do right interpretation there. Guru Nan says, they have entered within and they could not find the door. Christ also said, whatever you see, the old prophets wanted to, so they could not. Whatever you hear, prophet did not hear. You find in scriptures all these things. The right interpretation of the scriptures can only be given by someone who has seen. So masters are favor of see and then say. They are, I think from their level, all world is blind. Blind does not mean the terminology of the saints, means not those who have got no eyes on the forehead, but those whose who single eye is not open to see the light. Now you compare what you are doing. Now we made models of man outside temples, churches, don't shave and no shave the other, put in light and symbols, light and, I mean, sound principle, symbol of that and that. There's a model to show for the new man that such light, light is within you and such light sound is elevated within you. But for want of practical people, <laughs> They are stuck to there, and for God, the two temple of God in which he is with that, and also God is there. God forbid, if any pinnacle, of any church or temple, and is broken, well, we are ready to sacrifice all true temples of God, and in on this. <laughs> for those whose eyes are not open, for them out of church, you have respect for them, <coughs> for them to know what is what. So for want of practical people, who are filled us for water. That's all. And God has been sending masters from time to time to revive the truth. Mm-hmm. And it is not new truth, it is old, old thing. This is the basic truth given by all masters in the past. <coughs> Thank you, Kirpal Singhji. Could you give us a brief meditation now so that our audience, as they're listening at home, could join with us so these meditations are given every morning here in hundreds. Today I think about 600 people are there. Every time, 500, 400, 1,000 also. They let every day morning, you know, everywhere where I go. That it costs at least half an hour. Because we are not accustomed to it to be our attention from outside. It is quite practical. People have, have had the experience. And they testify they have seen this and that. Not it is that one mesmerizes or hypnotizes somebody to say all this is that. No, each man has his own experience. What I was hoping that we might do is to have you just have our audience close their eyes for a few minutes and you could give them some thoughts to meditate on. Well, I can tell you what I've been explaining every day, wherever I go. First thing is our physical body should be still. Because man body is the temple of God. And we reside and also God controlling our life. Outward expression of soul is the attention. The attention when it is paid to the outgoing faculties, the outgoing faculties work. The world also seems to live. But that, when that attention is withdrawn from there, this is what is wanted to be done. So withdraw your attention from all outside. When a man is dying, you see, he doesn't recognize anybody who comes to him. When a man is absorbed some thought, somebody calls him once, twice, he does not hear. 
says, why are you not going to reply to my question? He says, I will have in something else. So, so long as our attention is there, all other things work. So that attention is to be drawn from outside and from the body below. And rise out to the feet of the soul, which is at the back of the eyes. They are at the time of death. Soul will drive the eyes are up to us. From the earth, a week into the beyond. So this is a little way up, given. Those who come to you can go also give it if you are done that way. Every saint has his past and every saint has future. So people have, if they without their attention from outside, and also on the body below, arrive at one seat of the soul which is back the eyes, and sweet members of God, some boost is given by charging, you see. Then they see right. Oh, what can I say? Shut your son in the closet of your body. <laughs> Those people seeking all around, they cannot find it. Our attention is the whole thing. God is all attention. And we are attention. Our attention so long is attached to different departments of the body, eyes, ears, they work. If I am not saying, I just forget my mind. You may cut your body. This is regular science, practical, <coughs> which people have achieved. You know, are some people who, literally, when you each man, man has it, when he's sitting in absorbed thought, he does not hear. His eyes may be open, somebody will pass it, does not recognize. So it is a step to know if it's completely withdrawn, then, when you get the injection, all right, no injection. You dial your attention, you feel the pain, but less. This will be down on the surface from outside, coming up to the feet of the soul at the back of the eyes. This is practical sense. And the demonstration is given. You are already identified with the outside outgoing faculties, intellect, and this and that thing. And we have to go to such like practices which relate to those. How can they rise above this? Some people do have background. They see light. I have seen such like people, and they are getting them treated by doctors. <laughs> well, poor, I do not know what is what. So this is regular way, life after the dead sure I two and two may go. And in body, man, body alone, we are competent to rise above body consciousness, know ourselves, and then be ourselves, stage by stage. Already we are absorbed into the absolute power. And there, somebody needs to know that to be not who can give us something to start with. Call him by any name, sir. We've been discussing masters on the path to higher consciousness. Yes. Our program is produced by the Siddhartha Foundation for the Study of Higher Consciousness yes. in Waltham, Massachusetts. My name is J. Richard Turner. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody asked me to give a talk on all consciousness. I told this guy not to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> they gave some subject about this. A man who has not been all, how can he speak to anybody? What is this? It's all God. In between, around, you know everything. You are yourself in God. Who you will speak? You very say this is all consciousness today. I tell you, <laughs> what a denial of effect. <laughs> Thank you very much. So glad to see you.